Hey guys, so I got sick of my old 12 volt setup where I had to manually plug the battery into the external box. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, check it out. I'll put a link in. So what I did, I went out and bought myself a new battery and therefore I've built myself a new battery box. Check it out. So the build process took about three days in total. I asked my friend Josh for some help with the woodworking side of things. I tore apart my old box to scavenge some of the parts inside, as well as bought myself a new battery and solar controller to be installed. The first day was making the box itself to the right size. I didn't want it to be too big, but it also had to be strong enough to hold the battery and be moved around. The next day was tidying up the woodwork and putting in the electrical. The final day was making the electrical nice and tidy and setting up the Victron controller with the correct settings and putting it to the test under different loads. And now, finally, after all the work is done, I now get to show off my work of art. All right, so here's the finished product. The nice front face there. Around the side you've got a handle. That top there lifts up, which I'll show you soon. The back is just nice and flush with two hinges. Now the handle, this thing weighs about 37 kilos, so it is a bit heavy. Let's have a close look at the front, shall we? So over here we've got our red ends and plugs for solar input. Got a uh, Victron solar regulator inside, I'll show you in a sec. We've got a voltage meter there, a master switch, circuit breakers for safety. So this one here is for our solar input, this one here is from the battery, this one here is for the appliances. So we've got four USBs here, 2.1 amps each. We've got four cigarette lighter plugs. So these ones are um, the marine grade ones, so they, they do lock in, which is good. And at the top here, this opens up. And that's where I've got my wiring here. So I've got a Victron solar controller, 15 amps is all I need for this application but yeah they have got a giant power 140 amp hour battery it's nicely fitting snug in there and I've just got all the connectors coming coming through it my two bus bars there and a spare fuse and I've also got a and some plug here wired in that goes direct to the battery so if I need to any if I need to get any more juice out of it or charge it at home I can use that and then yeah, just on the lid here, I've got the details about the battery and just a quick AGM battery voltage gauge, even though the Victron does tell me that. Um, it's always good to have it. So yeah, there it is, the completed new battery box. So you can see here I've got it set up running my fridge and plugged into it is my solar panel through this lead out to my backyard. Just a 120 watt panel at the moment but I've always got the ability to upgrade with this controller. This Victron controller I have is what they call an MMPT controller. It's much better than the standard PWM controllers that come with most panels and can get more power out of a solar panel. This controller is a 15 amp controller. For my use case, this is plenty. When I'm out camping, I just have the fridge, camp lights, air pump, then USB chargers for lanterns, Bluetooth speakers, and phones. As you can see, it's a smart controller and connects to my phone via Bluetooth. It allows me to monitor exactly what the solar is harvesting in terms of volts and amps. I can monitor what is coming out of the battery via my load, so how much my fridge and accessories are using. It also tells me this, what state the battery is in. If I'm gaining or losing charge in terms of how much the solar is putting in and how much the load is taking out, as well as the voltage. It also has a low voltage cutoff, so that will prevent the battery from discharging past a certain point. This is good to prolong the life of the battery. So, since it's an MMPT, you can see here that there is about 4.2 amps coming in from the solar, but close to 4.6 amps going into the battery itself. 
This is due to the controller converting those extra volts into amps. If I had a higher voltage panel, then you would see a much bigger difference in the amps going into the battery. So there it is, my new battery box. If you like this setup, please hit the like button and feel free to check out my other videos on my channel.